Hi, my name is Stuart Tan and I'm from NLPteleseminars.com and I also run worldofnlp.com. If any of you have queries regarding neuro-linguistic programming, how to utilize the NLP patterns there, uh, I'll be very happy to share with you. Now basically, um, if any of you have seen my video on triggers and you can go down to youtube.com slash Stuart Tan, um, you'll be able to see quite a number of uh, ideas that I've put together. Um, Neuro-linguistic programming focuses on the utilization of cognitive patterns. Um, a large number of those um, have got to do with cognitive behavioral uh, patterns. So those of you who have utilized uh, cognitive behavioral therapy before, you'll find NLP very useful in becoming an adjunct for the therapeutic me uh, methods that can be placed inside of your current practice. But all in all, neuro-linguistic programming is not really directed to be um, therapeutic in nature. In fact, I would say that if you're using it just purely for therapy, um, I think you'll be quite sorely disappointed because there are so many more uh, things that you can do with neuro-linguistic programming that you might not be used to. So let me give you a couple of examples. I use NLP for the purposes of modeling. So I'll find people who are excellent models in a specific area. For instance, someone who is uh, a top sportsman. Okay, I'll go find out what's going on inside his mind and I'll learn how to model that so that I can find out why he's so effective. Uh, another thing that I typically do is take a look at people who've got certain pathologies and ineffective patterns and I'll analyze those patterns so that I can find out how to change them. Like for instance, um, one of the issues is uh, debt reduction. Okay, there are a large number of people who don't know how to reduce their debt and I used to become, uh, I used to belong in those categories as well myself. So after modeling after people, I've discovered something about things to do with their emotional patterns. Um, all of this comes from a, a very systemic analysis of how NLP works within an individual. So if anybody wants to tell you that, hey, look, uh, what you need to do with NLP is figure out what steps, you know, like step one to step seven, once you've got these seven steps, you will be able to create instantaneous change in anyone um, everywhere you meet. Well, it's nice to have those kinds of beliefs, but do remember, every individual is different. So if I use those seven steps on you, um, it might not suit you, you know, because you've got a different set of experiences, you've got a different set of beliefs, values, and so on. And I need to learn how you function so that I can find out what works for you and what doesn't. So anyone who's utilizing uh, standard methods of therapy are pretty much assuming the same thing. I don't think that they'll be able to be effectively reaching out to you and affecting you uh, as, uh, as effectively as possible because the uh, process that they use is a pattern that is encased in some kind of a standard you know, script. I do not believe that scripts work 100% of the time. Even if the scripts worked 100% of the time, they wouldn't work for 100% of the population. So if you want to become effective, you need to develop a high level of flexibility in understanding NLP patterns. Let's take, for instance, something known as the switch pattern. Some of you may have seen the YouTube Darren Brown video where he's using um, you know, a, a hand gesture like this and then a hand gesture like this. Now, when you notice my hand coming closer to you, it's basically utilizing something known as uh, an image submodality. What happens is that you shift uh, inside a person's mind a three-dimensional understanding of what's going on in the external world. Uh, my video on triggers actually explains that quite a fair bit. But when you're doing something like this, what happens is that your image begins to feel a little less solid, right? And you get a feeling of this. Uh, especially so when I take something like an image like this and I start moving it further away and you might notice that a certain sensation that used to be solid that when I take and move further away rapidly suddenly the sensation disappears you know and you might not realize why that sensation disappears but uh, at the same time what you can do is bring back that real solid feeling and hold that there because for a lot of you having a sensation of uh, solidness having a sensation of fixedness is something that uh, we tend to crave for. Human beings do not like uncertainty. So you think about it, uh, NLP patterns are very fixed and very standard in certain ways, but we focus primarily on process, meaning to say, if you are extremely depressed, I could use the switch pattern and utilize that process in order to aid you 
in uh, reaching whatever outcome that you desire. Let's say you want to become happy, you want to become uh, more, um, I don't know, motivated, right? Those are uh, emotional states that can be controlled. But if I were to say, you know, hmm, let's take a look inside your mind and take a look at, uh, you know, your history with your parents and, you know, how you treated your mother and how your mother treated you, um, those tend to be more content oriented. Sure, I might be able to find certain patterns, but I don't think that's as effective as taking a look at what's happening in the here and now. Well, neuro-linguistic programming uh, therapeutic patterns are just one of the many things that you should do uh, and, and learn because uh, the other things that you should be doing would be modeling after people and figuring out what kinds of systems actually work in the modeling process. So um, if you are interested to investigate more of this modeling sequence, uh, rec I'd recommend that you head down to nlpteleseminars.com and join me for a teleseminar one of these days um, or head down to worldofnlp.com. Uh, where there's plenty of free information and at the same time I've got a couple of very very long podcasts which are up there uh, and I've not charged anyone for anything yet <laughs> so I wonder if you're going to be heading down there soon um, in the meanwhile stay tuned to my YouTube channel I will be uh, putting up more information about NLP how you can utilize NLP patterns um, even if you're not in a physical training course, you know, all of this is useful because right now I can demonstrate stuff to you through the power of the internet. Um, all you need to do is stay tuned and once you develop this capability, you have more power, more control over your own life and learn how to establish patterns of excellence just for yourself so that you can accomplish whatever goal that you desire.